Rich I can I'm gonna give you all a snapshot of a little snapshot here of just how busy this building is in Winchester sometime and just how many dogs get trained here on a daily basis and just how much is going on at any one time. Um, and any of these rooms there could be so much going on that it's very difficult to keep track of all of it. And uh, stressed and blessed. I get stressed sometimes when too much is going on because I start losing control of it. But also blessed that so much is going on. Kenzie, I love that shirt. I haven't seen those shirts ever. Clean, right? We got a little Kelsey. I was about to say Littles. And then I said Kelsey. I said Little Kelsey, but Littles and Kelsey. Where's Alex at? Even better. Come over here. We got community service girl. Turn, face the camera. Why are you here? Getting strong from doing wrong. Repeat after me. And so that's it. Getting strong from doing wrong. So her mom's a longtime supporter of Rich Side K9, and uh, she got in trouble, snuck out or something. So now she comes here and cleans. We look in the back. Keep that boy alive, son. Out here power washing. Like I said, man, so much is going on. Woo. Crazy. But uh, that's as real as it gets. A lot going on, a lot behind the scenes. Tremendous amount. Rocking and rolling. It's kind of cool. We like it. We like it. Boatload of dogs here right now, boy. And I do mean a boatload. It's good stuff. We're Rich Side K9, back on the favorite thing I've ever, my voiceover. I know you guys like hearing me talk. So here we go, man. We're just going to narrate this for a little bit. This is what we do in the mornings, man. Rep after rep after rep. It's one thing to train a dog one-on-one. -on -one. It's one thing to do that. Yada, yada. It's all good. But we do a lot of group place work like this, man. Really quick. Try to get some engagement. We have four different dogs here, four different drive levels, four different issues. The healer, as you can clearly tell, can be a little bit aggressive. Um, the bull massive can be a little bit aggressive. The one little pit bull cross over there is fine, and the other little bulldog cross is very shy, right? So we're doing different things. It all starts off with some activity. We end a lot of those lessons with just some social time with the dogs, learning they can be pet, get affection, be calm in the presence of other dogs and other people, and not have to go seek out those dogs or those people. They can stay focused on their handler. One thing we also do every single morning with all the dogs here training, and there's a lot of dogs training through Winchester, man. Winchester is great to us. We have been blessed with Winchester. It's rocking and rolling. We do a lot of walks. Ah, Alex shouldn't have let that happen right there. That bull massive, that's okay. We'll address that later. Just caught it right now. But uh, tremendous amount of walks like this, man. Nothing's better for a dog than getting out and moving with other dogs. Not just the value of moving with dogs, but here we're moving with dogs in an urban environment, right? So we work all up and down the shopping center. We do it in the morning. Nobody's here for the most part, just other shop owners and store owners. But we get these dogs out, man, and we start rocking and rolling. So the goal is not so much perfect obedience. We want as much loose leash walking as possible here. But we also want it to be where these dogs can be in the presence of other dogs and not be reactive, lunging, jumping, biting, having to smell. They just understand, hey, when you're on a leash, the job is to walk, walk under control, walk correct. And this is a tough group. So that bull mastiff and that healer, just so you know, have had fights. They do not like each other. They're actually neighbors uh, of each other. And then the two dogs in the middle are actually like pack mates. So a lot of dynamics going on. Um, we try to end every one of these walk groups with a little circle like this. That way the dogs, again, can start to learn to, hey, now Taylor just got involved. See another Malinois just came up on us. That's okay. Um, but we try to teach the dogs, hey, man, you can be in these groups and just relax. Uh, new group of dogs right here. And you can see trainer Kelsey just came in. So she came in, grabbed a dog. Everybody else grabbed different dogs. And we start repping out again. Again, five dogs, five different drive states, five different ages from a little puppy to a senior to a mid-level dog, that little black shepherd, um, to a super high drive dog, that little GSP right there. So again, that healer, that little puppy healer, I love this dog. One of the favorites, one of the all-time greats. But we, this is a great drill, man. Work on focus, control, and task in the presence of a lot of dogs and a lot of moving parts. There's a reason why the trainers are walking so much. There's a reason why the trainers are doing this. It's trying to get a little bit of distraction in the other dogs, but also give their dogs a benefit. And again, right back outside to a walk, man. Really important, really critical. Allows for clarity, allows for movement. Gets the dogs to kind of understand the task here. Hey, we're just moving in a group. Now, We'll put the adult dogs kind of up front in a row like we do. The puppy needs to maintain the rhythm. This puppy has a ways to go, um, learning the basics. Very, very young little healer. Very excited, awesome little puppy. But he's learning 
Um, he's staying in the back right now, but you know he'll he'll work through. By the time he's done, he'll be rocking and rolling. And going both directions, man, I can't say enough about it, guys. I can't stress, if you guys need help, let us know. From boarding trains to day training, which most of these dogs are here on day trains, but from boarding trains to day training to lessons, you name it, we do it. You know, Ridgeside Canine has over 20 full-time trainers, multiple locations, whatever we can do to serve you guys. This is a mix of trainers and interns right now, but if we can help you, let us know.